The Linux Command Line 5th Internet Edition by William Schatz, a linuxcommand.org book. That's Creative Commons um, is the license. A version of this book is also available in printed form at no starch. I'll probably link that in the description. The book is part of the linuxcommand.org project. Um, and uh, I'll probably put the link in the descriptions for that. And it looks like January 28th, 2019. It's the fifth internet edition. Or January 2019. Table of Contents. The Introduction. Uh, Roman numeral 16. So why use the command line? What this book is about? Who should read this book? What's in this book? How to read this book. Prerequisites. Why I don't call it GNU Linux. What's new in the 5th Internet Edition? Acknowledgements. 1st Internet Edition. 2nd Internet Edition. 3rd Internet Edition. 4th. 5th. Your feedback is needed. Further reading. Colophon. That's in Roman numeral 22. Uh, part 1 starts on page 1, and it's Learning the Shell. The book begins with What is the Shell? Section 1. So that's on page 2. Terminal emulators. Making your first keystrokes. Command history. Cursor movement. A few words about mice and focus. Try some simple commands. Ending a terminal session. The console behind the curtain. Summing up and further reading on page six. Uh, still in part one, learning the shell. Section two is navigation on page seven. That includes understanding the file system tree, the current working directory, listing the contents of a directory, changing the current working directory, absolute path names, relative path names, some helpful shortcuts, important facts about file names, and summing up on page 12. Continuing under Part 1, Learning the Shell, Section 3 is Exploring the System on page 13. That includes having more fun with LS, options and arguments, a longer look at long format, determining a file's type with file. Viewing file contents with less. What is text? Less is more. Taking a guided tour. Symbolic links. Hard links. Summing up and further reading on page 24. Again, under Part 1, Learning the Shell. Part 4 is Manipulating Files and Directories, starting on page 25. That includes wildcards, you know, character ranges. Wildcards work in the GUI too. MKDIR, create directories. CP, copy files and directories. Useful options and examples on page 29. MV, move and rename files, page 30. Useful options and examples. RM, remove files and directories. Useful options and examples. Be careful with RM. LN. Create links. Hard links. Symbolic links. Page 34. Let's build a playground. Creating directories. Copying files. Moving and renaming files. Creating hard links. Creating symbolic links. Removing files and directories. Creating symlinks with the GUI on page 41. Summing up and further reading. Section 5 is working with commands on page 42. What exactly are commands? Identifying commands. Type. Display a command's type, page 43. Which? Display an executable's location. Getting a command's documentation. Help. Get help for shell built-ins. Dash dash help. 
Display Usage Information, MAN, Display a Program's Manual Page, Apropos, Display Appropriate Commands, What Is, that's W-H-A-T-I-S, Display One Line Manual Page Descriptions, The Most Brutal Man Page of Them All, Info, Display a Program's Info Entry, Read Me and Other Program Documentation Files, creating our own commands with alias, summing up, and further reading on page 52. The next section is 6, redirection on page 54. That includes standard input, output, and error. Uh, that was page 54. Redirecting standard output, redirecting standard error, redirecting standard output and standard error to one file. Disposing of unwanted output. Forward slash dev, forward slash null, in Unix culture, page 58. Redirecting standard input. Cat. Concatenate files. Pipelines. The difference between greater than and vertical line. Filters. UNIQ. Report or emit repeated lines. WC, print line, word, and byte counts. GREP, print lines matching a pattern. Head forward slash tail, that's print first, last part of files. TEE, read from STDIN, and output to STDOUT and files. Summing up. Uh, and Linux is about imagination. Section 7, Seeing the World as the Shell Sees It on page 68. That includes expansion, path name expansion, path name expansion of hidden files, tilde expansion, arithmetic expansion, brace expansion, parameter expansion, command substitution, coding, Double quotes, single quotes, escaping characters, backslash escape sequences, summing up on page 79. Further reading, page 80. Section 8 is advanced keyboard tricks on page 81. That includes command line editing, cursor movement, modifying text, cutting and pasting, killing and yanking text the meta key, completion, programmable completion, using history, searching history, history expansion, script, summing up, further reading. Section 9, permissions, on page 90. Owners, group members, and everybody else. Reading, writing, and executing. CHMOD, change file mode. What the is octal. Setting file mode with the GUI. UMask. Set default permissions. Some special permissions. Changing identities. SU. Run a shell with substitute user and group IDs. SUDO or sudo. Execute a command as another user. Ubuntu and sudo. CHOWN. Change file owner and group. CHGRP, change group ownership. Exercising our privileges, changing your password, summing up and further reading. Section 10, processes on page 110. How a process works. Viewing processes. Viewing processes dynamically with top. Controlling processes. Interrupting a process, putting a process in the background, returning a process to the foreground, stopping, pausing a process. Signals. Sending signals to processes with kill. Sending signals to multiple processes with kill all. Shutting down the system. More process-related commands. Summing up. And then there's part two, starting on page 127, which is configuration and the environment. 
So section 11 is the environment on page 128. What is stored in the environment? Examining the environment. Some interesting variables. How is the environment established? What's in a startup file? Modifying the environment. Which files should we modify? Text editors. Using a text editor. Why comments are important. Activating our changes. Summing up further reading. Section 12, A Gentle Introduction to VI, page 141. Why we should learn VI. A little background. Starting and stopping VI. Compatibility mode. Editing modes. Entering insert mode. Saving our work. Moving the cursor around. Basic editing. Appending text. Opening a line deleting text, cutting, copying, and pasting text, joining lines, search and replace, searching within a line, searching the entire file, global search and replace, editing multiple files, switching between files, opening additional files for editing, copying content from one file into another, inserting an entire file into another saving our work, summing up, further reading. Customizing the prompt, uh, section 13, under part two, configuration and the environment. All right, section 13 is customizing the prompt on page 162. Anatomy of a prompt, trying some alternative prompt designs, adding color, terminal confusion, moving the cursor, saving the prompt, summing up, and further reading on page 170. Part 3 is Common Tasks and Essential Tools on page 171. Section 14 is Package Management, page 172. Packaging Systems, how a package system works, package files, repositories, dependencies, high and low level package tools, Common package management tasks, finding a package in a repository, installing a package from a repository, installing a package from a package file, removing a package, updating packages from a repository, upgrading a package from a package file, listing installed packages, determining whether a package is installed, displaying information about an installed package, Finding which package installed a file, summing up, the Linux software installation myth, and further reading on page 181. Still under part 3, common tasks and essential tools, is section 15, storage media, on page 182. Mounting and unmounting storage devices, viewing a list of mounted file systems, why unmounting is important determining device names, creating new file systems, manipulating partitions with FDisk, creating a new file system with MKFS, testing and repairing file systems. What the FSCK? Question mark. Moving data directly to and from devices, creating CD-ROM images, creating an image copy of a CD-ROM, creating an image from a collection of files, a program by any other name, writing CD-ROM images, mounting an ISO image directly, blanking a rewritable CD-ROM, writing an image, summing up, further reading, and extra credit on page 199. Still under Part 3, Common Tasks and Essential Tools, Next is section 16, networking, on page 201 is where it starts. Examining and monitoring a network, ping, tracer route, trace route, T-R-A-C-E-R-O-U-T-E, IP, netstat, that's N-E-T-S-T-A-T, transporting files over a network, FTP, LFTP, a better FTP, WGET, secure communication with remote hosts, SSH, 
tunneling with SSH, SCP and SFTP, and SSH client for Windows, summing up and further reading on page 215. Section 17 is searching for files on page 217. That includes locate, find files the easy way. Where does the locate database come from? Find, find files the hard way. Tests, operators, predefined actions, user-defined actions, improving efficiency, XARGS, dealing with funny file names, a return to the playground options, summing up, and further reading on page 233. Section 18, Archiving and Backup, page 234. Compressing files, gzip, bzip2, don't be compressive compulsive. Archiving files, tar, zip, synchronizing files and directories, using rsync over a network. That's R-S-Y-N-C. Summing up and further reading on page 250. Section 19 is regular expressions on page 251. What are regular expressions? G-Rep, meta characters and literals, the any character, anchors, a crossword puzzle helper, bracket expressions and character classes, negation, traditional character ranges, POSIX character classes, POSIX, reverting to traditional collation order, POSIX basic versus extended regular expressions, POSIX, alternation, quantifiers, question mark, match an element zero or one time, star or asterisk, match an element zero or more times, plus, match an element one or more times brackets, curly, you know, curly braces, um, match an element a specified number of times, putting regular expressions to work on page 267, validating a phone list with grep, finding ugly file names with find, searching for files with locate, searching for text with less and vim, summing up and further reading on page 272. Section 20 is text processing on page 273. Applications of text, documents, web pages, email, printer output, program source code, revisiting some old friends, cat, MS-DOS text versus Unix text, sort, UNIQ, slicing and dicing, cut, expanding tabs, paste, join, comparing text, C-O-M-M, D-I-F-F, patch, editing on the fly, T-R, R-O-T-13, the not-so-secret decoder ring, S-E-D, people who like S-E-D also like A-S-P-E-L-L, summing up further reading and extra credit on page 314. Section 21 formatting output on page 315. That includes simple formatting tools, NL number lines, fold, wrap each line to a specified length, FMT, a simple text formatter, PR, format text for printing, printf, format and print data, document formatting systems, GROFF, Summing up and further reading. Section 22, Printing on page 337. A brief history of printing. Printing in the dim times. Character-based printers. Graphical printers. Printing with Linux. Preparing files for printing. PR, convert text files for printing. Sending a print job to a printer. LPR, print files Berkeley style. LP, Print files system V style. Another option, A2PS. Monitoring and controlling print jobs. LP stat, display print system status. LPQ, display printer Q status. LPRM forward slash cancel. Cancel print jobs. 
summing up in further reading on page 349. Section 23, Compiling Programs on page 350. What is compiling? Are all programs compiled? Compiling a C program, obtaining the source code, examining the source tree, building the program, installing the program, summing up and further reading on page 361. Part 4, Writing Shell Scripts on page 363. Section 24 is writing your first script on page 364. What are shell scripts? How to write a shell script. Script file format. Executable permissions. Script file location. Good locations for scripts. More formatting tricks. Long option names. Indentation and line continuation. Configuring Vim for script writing. Summing up and further reading. Okay, still in part four, writing shell scripts, section 25, starting a project on page 371. First stage, minimal document. Second stage, adding a little data. Variables and constants, assigning values to variables and constants. Here, documents, summing up and further reading on page 382. Continuing in part four, writing shelf scripts, shell scripts, section 26 is top-down design on page 383. Shell functions, local variables, keep scripts running, shell functions in your .bashrc file, summing up and further reading on page 392. Okay, writing shell scripts, this is part four. Section 27, flow control, branching with if on page 393. If, exit status, test, file expressions, string expressions, integer expressions, a more modern version of test. Uh, double parentheses, and then double parentheses, design for integers, combining expressions, portability is the hobgoblin of little minds. Control operators, another way to branch. Summing up and further reading on page 409. See, section 26 was top-down design. Section 25 was starting a project, uh, first stage minimal document, second stage adding a little data, variables and constants, here documents, and summing up. All right, we're still in part four writing shell scripts. Let's see. Uh, did I read section 28, reading keyboard input on page 410? Read, read values for from standard input, options, IFS, you can't pipe read. Validating input, menus, summing up, extra credit, and further reading on page 421. Section 29 is flow control, looping with while, uh, forward slash, until. So while and until. Looping, while. Breaking out of a loop, until. Reading files with loops, summing up, and further reading. Section 30 is troubleshooting. That includes syntactic errors, missing quotes, missing or unexpected tokens, unanticipated expansions, logical errors, defensive programming, watch out for file names, portable file names, verifying input. Design is a function of time. Testing, test cases, debugging, finding the problem area, tracing, examining values during execution, summing up and further reading on page 443. Section 31, flow control branching with case on page 444. That's case, that includes patterns and performing multiple actions, summing up and further reading on page 450. Section 32 is positional parameters on page 451. Accessing the command line, determining the number of arguments, shift getting access to many arguments, 
simple applications, using positional parameters with shell functions, handling positional parameters and mass, a more complete application, summing up in further reading on page 465. Section 33, Flow Control, Looping with 4 on page 466. 4. Traditional shell form, YI. 4. C language form, summing up, further reading. Section 34, Strings and Numbers, page 473. Parameter expansion, basic parameters, expansions to manage empty variables, expansions that return variable names, string operations, case conversion, arithmetic evaluation and expansion, number bases, unary operators, simple arithmetic, assignment, bit operators, logic, BC, an arbitrary precision calculator language, using BC, an example script, summing up, extra credit, and further reading. Section 35 is arrays on page 495. What are arrays? Creating an array, assigning values to an array, accessing array elements, array operations, outputting the entire contents of an array, determining the number of array elements, finding the subscripts used by an array, adding elements to the end of an array, sorting an array, deleting an array. Associative arrays, summing up and further reading on page 504. Section 36 is Exotica on page 505. Group commands, and that includes group commands and subshells, process substitution, traps, temporary files, asynchronous execution, wait, named pipes, setting up a named pipe, using named pipes, summing up, and further reading. Index uh, is on page 519. For Karen, whoever that is. Okay, thank you.